today's the day it's happening i'm going to my first k-pop concert and it's going to be txt we are about to leave the house to go to the venue i'm going by myself but osman is off today so he's gonna drop me off and then we'll probably buy merch and then i will go into the show but i'm going to the show by myself this is a little teaser of my outfit i tried to do like a fairy tinkerbell kind of vibe and you can kind of see that i have wings on as well green dress i have these press-on nails that i bought like literally last night and i don't usually wear press-ons this short but like this little gem which my camera won't focus but reminded me of their album artwork and like the tour artwork i made freebies this is my bag my photo card the infamous subin photo card that you guys have come to know and love and my light stick that i decoed like literally this morning it's been a very eventful morning but we have to go to the venue now it feels like it took us forever to get here but we're here though so the venue's over there open at 5 30. we're already on the line to get in there's like 17 different doors to get through but it's like one big line that's the poster people are selling stuff i've gotten two freebies i've given out none of my freebies it's pretty good are you having so much fun so we're having this wattpad moment where I'm like, Osmond's not gonna go inside and he's gonna be just sitting outside on the bench waiting for me. He's gonna befriend the security that works here. And they're gonna be like, oh, you sad little man. Come inside, it's so chilly. <laughs> and he's gonna jump inside somehow. I'm putting that into the universe for you. Thank you. <laughs> Quite literally gonna lose my mind like actually quite possibly go insane This is the last 
song, so we want to hear you more. Everybody, make some noise! I think they're gonna play Farewell Neverland, and I'm gonna lose my absolute fucking mind. Hey, Last night was insane and so much fun. It is currently 11 o'clock. Today is day two. And as of right now, when I am filming this with you guys, you can hear my morning voice too, because I haven't like fully woken up yet. Even though I've been up for like an hour now, I've just been scrolling on my phone, looking at all the pictures and videos I took last night. But um, I don't have a ticket for tonight yet. I just can't believe I did that. I can't, I can't believe. Like, I can believe, but I can't believe. I'm seeing TXT again. Like, we knew I was going, but it's like official now. I am freaking out in the best way possible. Okay, so let me give you a little backstory um, since we didn't really get to chat last night. So, yesterday was day one of the. TXT World Tour Act Sweet Mirage, I'm reading it off of my laptop, if you couldn't tell by me looking in the opposite direction, was my um, first K-pop concert ever, my first time ever seeing TXT. And let me tell you the story of how I got this ticket. So I paid resale for where I was sitting last night. You guys saw my view, it was incredible. I have absolutely no regrets. I just, you know, I was nervous, I was anxious. I needed to secure my spot so I could plan my outfit and all this, that, and the third. So I bought a resale ticket. Now today is day two and originally I had tickets to see Sabrina Carpenter tonight at Terminal 5 in New York. And I bought those Sabrina tickets probably in like November. I did like artist pre-sale for that and everything. I was so excited to see her. And then TXT announced this tour and it was like back to back. And I was like, oh, well, I'll see TXT the first night and then the second night I won't see them and I'll go see Sabrina. That was a rookie mistake right there because I should have known better that I was gonna pick them over Sabrina. Sorry, Sabrina girl, I still love you. I will see you in Chicago for Lollapalooza. That's the main reason why I didn't mind missing her. So I sold my Sabrina ticket. So I used that money and I was like, I'm gonna use that money and buy a ticket for day two of TXT. And last night after the concert, I was like on Ticketmaster and you know, there were no, like nowhere I wanted to sit because I'm a spoiled little brat and I like to be floor if possible. I like to be as close as I possibly can, especially after last night. I was like, you know, now that I'm familiar with how the venue is set up. So <laughs> I had tickets like in the row in front of me in my cart last night. It was resale and I didn't buy them. I fell asleep and they sold. And then this morning, I've been getting ready with absolutely no tickets um, on Ticketmaster like crazy, debating if I want to sit lower bowl or if I want to still wait and see if I can score floor. So I'm texting Osman about it because he's at work today. And I was like, what do I do? What do I do? And then floor tickets retail, um, well, platinum, but it's not that big of a difference, started to pop up. And... I was like, I don't know what to do. And they were selling like that. And I, I get it. There's probably people like at the venue who don't have tickets, who are still trying to get tickets that are already there. And I didn't know what to do. Because like I said, I saw the venue set up last night. So I kind of have an idea of where I want to be. Very long story short, Osman texts me and he's like, so did you get tickets? 
he texts me this right as I'm checking out. Your girl is sitting floor one again, row seven. And I paid half of what I paid for row 27 yesterday. Moral of the story, if there's a show you want to go to, wait till the day of. Like I said, I have no regrets um, buying the tickets that I bought yesterday, but I am a lot closer today. With that, I have to finish doing my makeup because I'm almost done. I'm going to go get food and then we're going to head to the venue. It is currently 1.30. I am running a little bit late. Yesterday, we left at like 2.30 and we got to the venue at like 4, 4.30. Doors open at 5.30. So I need to um, step it up. As most things pertaining to this tour um i pulled this outfit pretty much out of the closet because i did not anticipate going to day two i only anticipated going to day one so we've got the wings make it a comeback i'm sorry if people are yelling in the background that's just the woes of living in new york city um yesterday i pinned the wings to my sweater so they were a little lower because they're like really high up sh they should be here but also they should be worn on like a four-year-old not me um i might see if i can pin them again but if not that's where they're gonna be we've got the wings again um we did a reverse fit so yesterday i wore a green dress with like a pinky cardigan pink dress with a green cardigan my makeup is pretty much the same as yesterday i am obsessed with this green eyeshadow underneath um i don't think i'm gonna put anything in my hair today because yesterday i had like the little clips and a headband and that headband killed my brain but this is the fit with my same oh you can't even see them but like my stompers as i call them with the light stick oops, 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 right but today this is the only thing that doesn't match anything i'm wearing subin is coming with me i'm taking my picket i don't think i shared with the internet at all that i have this picket but your girl bought a picket um this is from unalin i think that's how you say her shop's name i'll link it down below i don't think she has these in stock anymore but she makes a bunch of pickets for a bunch of different k-pop artists and i got subin i also got yanjun um and he's pink and he's a bunny so i could do like a whole bunny fit but i i'm i'm loving the green and i also want to rep subin so like i don't know what to do because yesterday i saw someone with a picket from this small shop and it was yanjun so i was like oh my gosh i got so subin some love but the yanjun i could do a bunny fit I don't know stands by we'll see what i end up doing but i gotta leave like very very soon i'm debating spending like 45 dollars and taking an uber to the venue so i don't have to travel like an hour and a half but we'll see because i just spent a lot of money buying tickets <laughs> so i'm a liar and i found a way to pin down the bunny ears so i feel like they kind of look like cinna ears and um yeah, so we just kind of made a little sin of it. I want to like pull that down. That's probably. But like, she's a sleigh, I think. Perhaps. I pulled this outfit literally out of my butt. So I will have to take off my Namjoon bracelet though. But that's a price I'm willing to pay. This is going to be the fit for today. That's it. We're leaving now. I can't tell if I got here earlier this time or not, um, but it's kind of empty. I just finished eating. I put my ears on. Subin's keeping me company. I had boba tea, but I scarfed it down. It was actually really good, considering. I'm going to my seat now. Uh, 16, 15, 12. It's time to test your light stick. Seven. The color of your light stick will change on the I don't know which one is me though.
the day after tour and I thought I would just kind of wrap up this vlog and talk about my experience and my thoughts. Oh, <clears throat> that kind of tells you everything you need to know right there. The fact that it sounds like I'm going through puberty. Let's start with the important hard hitting question. My bias. So when I first got into TXT, before I even actually listened to their music, my bias was Yeonjun, because that man is so beautiful. And then as I started listening to them more and watching interviews and getting like deep diving into them, um, Subin took over my heart. So I say that I live the double bias life, Yeonjun and Subin. But this concert, recently, let's, let's rewind. Recently, I feel like my bias record has been Bumgyu. And when I first, started like buying albums all i would pull is bomb you bomb you bomb you bomb you that man was in love with me he is in love with me because all i ever pull is bomb you and then i pulled subin which you guys saw in one of my previous vlogs and ever since then i have been pulling subin knock on wood bomb you has been bias wrecking me but i was like mm, maybe it's just a little phase i don't know and I fully, fully expect it based off of like all the TikToks I've seen and such going into this concert and being like, yeah, the double bias life is hitting because every video, everybody's like, oh, I got bias wrecked by Yeonjun if Yeonjun wasn't their bias. And I fully, fully expect it to leave a Yeonjun girl, Subin Hu, honestly. But um, I'm loyal to my man. And I love Subin so much, and Yeonjun is so pretty, and I still live that double bias life, y'all. But my bias record, officially, on the record, is Bumgyu. He is just so precious and so cute, and I love him so much. Overall, the concert was like such an amazing experience. I'm definitely feeling, like not really post-concert depression, but the like, so what do I do now? type of vibes because like two days in a row i've just been like waking up getting ready and going to see txt and now it's like i have to go to work tomorrow i have to be like a regular human in society that sounds fake that shouldn't be a thing so the next time i see txt is going to be at Lollapalooza in chicago and that's not until august which is like so far away and I was so sad last night like thinking about it but like I have so many things happening between now and August like my next concert is literally next month I'm seeing Melanie Martinez the following month I am seeing twice I'm so excited for that and then I have Lollapalooza so your girl's booked and busy but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i had a lot of fun clearly i mean i went to two concerts in two days i had so much fun bringing you guys along on this journey and i will see you in the next one bye